Hi right, folks, how are we doing? Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be back on my uh, my vehicle spits, my, my rollover jigs. Um, it's been probably about a year since I've touched them. Although I put part one up in January, you know, um, I sort of sat on it. I was going to try and get them sort of both together, but that didn't happen. I do apologise. Um, now I really want to get the grey escort on them so I can crack on and get some work done on it. So I really need to get them finished. Um, last video you see me, I sort of braced up the feet, put some casters on it. Um, I have done a couple of bits, um, which I did film, but I'm not going to put it in this video because it's, it's almost pointless. I'll just show you what I did. Um, yeah, today what we're going to be doing is um, mounting the actual turning bit to, to the A-frame. <laughs> I don't know the technical term. The, the bit that bolts to the car to the actual main A-frame. Um, I've got a couple of car wheel bearings. Uh, we just need to make some, some brackets and shit. Um, I'm not an engineer, not by a long shot. Um, I know how to drill a hole, I know how to mark a hole and stuff like that. But um, I did spend quite a lot of time yesterday sort of going through shit, making sure everything was spot on and how I want it. Normally, you know, it's just kind of my catchphrase, I just make it up as I go along. But in this instance, you know, it's got to take a weight of a car, uh, plus the height's got to be right. It's got to, it's got to do all the things it's supposed to be doing. So I did, did spend a minute. Uh, and work it out and then you know went down the road grabbed some bits you know I had to buy some hole saws and stuff but we'll go through that later um, let's go over to the uh, the A-frames and uh, we'll, I'll go through what we're actually planning on doing so this is the A-frame and um, there's obviously two of these um, initially when these were designed they had um, just a tube in a tube as a lot of these do um, but the the tubes weren't a very good fit so um, I've decided I'm going to try and use uh, a pair of wheel bearings so um, that's one thing that I did do um, off camera like I said I filmed it but that did have a, a, a flange on it which I cut off where is it and there are two flanges which I cut off and then cleaned up um, which was not fun took a lot of grinding that did it took me almost a day to do the pair of them so i didn't want to overheat them i don't have a lathe it yeah it's a pain in the ass so anyway digressing um so this had a little bit longer tube on it so that got chopped off and then there was a bit of pipe or tube or whatever coming off the back of this which has also been chopped off so um yeah what we need to do is uh, make some bracketry so I say I did sort of mess around with this quite a bit yesterday so I could get it right um, unfortunately with the bearings uh, they've got uh, this little bit at the back so I needed to I have to make a recess I have to take the cap off the other one uh, and there's nothing I could do about it it's got to be like that hence the hole um, but yeah basically we're gonna uh, make a plate to go on there. Um, I've worked out the centre which I need because uh, ultimately these are going to be on uh, for my Rover. So I do want the height quite right. Although it would be too high for this, you know, I do want it to eventually go on my Rover. And that's uh, quite a wide car. So we need it 42 inches to the centre roughly or over 42 inches. So the way it's got to work is two of these bolt holes Got to go through the tube with a plate on it like that. I might try, I might try and get it a little bit higher, try and get it centralised. Um, and then we need to make a plate for that to bolt onto there. So yeah, it's going to be good. Fun. Oops. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. So <clears throat> this is the uh, bit of plate that I've got to do it. Uh, this is 8mm thick, um, I don't know what it is in um, American, I'll put it at the bottom somewhere. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to start with by making the actual main bolt, uh, what would what would have been the wheel flange. Um, I haven't actually worked out that side yet, I still don't know how to do it, I don't know whether that sort of comes up, but that's not quite square, that's offset, and I don't quite know how to do it yet, I'm going to have to play with that as we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to start with this side because that's what took me most of the time yesterday is working out the PCD. Um, it's not something I've ever done before. Um, 
and I spent a lot of time trying to work it all out yesterday. Um, found the formula, I've got the, you know, so, yeah, all your measurements, and I had to go a couple of times, and I just could not get it to sort of line back up. So initially I thought it was the paper and then the thickness of the pencil was not quite right. So then I moved over to um, steel, got that marked up, and although it sort of lines up, it's not quite right. Um, yeah, one of the holes, uh, like that one there, yeah, between five and one it was, just slightly out. So all the rest of them lined up, but then that last one just didn't quite go. Um, I mean, I even went to the point of um, making these. It took me a little while in the pillar drill, um, you know, so I could screw them in and get the exact uh, measurement from there to there to get the actual proper PCD. But, you know, I tried it a good few times. I mean, there's like one there. You could probably see there's, uh, well, other than these holes, because that was something else, there's another one marked out there. But then in the end, I went onto a website, uh, this website here, blocklayer.com, and I could actually print it out. This one was the one that I did, and I made these holes, which are perfect. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely great website. It's not just for PCDs, you can do everything. Uh, they've got gear ratios and everything. So I printed shitloads out, because initially, which is why that's all blue, is normally with laser printers, you can use a bit of acetone to then transfer it over onto the workpiece and then it just lays out. Uh, in this instance, because it's quite a fine print, it didn't come out well. But yeah, I did two different types. I did that one first, so then I could sort of check it on there and make sure it all lined up. Then I did it with like tiny little holes for the uh, dot punch. So yeah, great website. Go check it out. Where is it? Yeah. Blocklayer.com. I will put a link in the description for that because it is fantastic. I'm not sponsored or anything, but you know, I found it so useful, so helpful. And you can print these out to scale. You literally just go PDF, print, done. So, right, let's finish. All right. Um, one thing that is going to piss me off with this is I've got to cut all this with a grinder. Um, I did have a go yesterday with a plasma cutter, trying to cut it, and it's just not powerful. You know, ideally cutting a circle, plasma cutter would be brilliant. <laughs> But no, I'm gonna to have to do this with a grind up and it's gonna take forever, I know it is, and it's gonna be horrible. So, first thing I'm gonna do is, because I'm gonna need some gussets as well, I'm just gonna cut out two squares for the two flanges, uh, roughly, well, just slightly oversized from them. So, um, I'm not gonna show you that, because it's, it's pointless, I'm just using a grind up. So I'm just gonna mark it out where I need to and just cut out two squares. So I'll come back once I've done that. Oh, that took a while, but they're finally done. Um, now what I want to do is just draw around this. So, get them on there. Just go around. squares into two circles. Yay. Right, well, they're both done. And that was about four hours out of my life that I'll never get fucking back. Um, they're pretty close to each other. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the way they turned out to be fair. So, it was a pain in the ass. It's, it was a lot of work, but yeah, that had to be right. Um, there is a genuine reason why these have to be right and I'm not going to reveal anything until part three so yes there will be a part three you know I probably could have done these just a square plate fucking bolt into it and nobody would have been you know would have made any odds but they do have to be pretty damn good so um 
Yeah. I cut, just went around it, cut a load of fucking bits off. That fucking come off the back of me flat disc, shit the fucking life out of me. Um, yeah, I thought the bloody disc exploded. I, I was, wasn't even, you know, when you sort of just get sort of in your zone and just like whatever, and yeah, all of a sudden that happened. So yeah, I've got about 80 quid's worth of grinding dust on my floor. So yeah, basically right now, I just chopped all the corners off, went around with a flat disc, roughly, and then I stuck it on here. Uh, Michelle took this apart ages ago, that's so what was in, in that box. Um, because of this stupid angle, it's absolutely ridiculous, and I was going to rebuild it, uh, and then completely redo do the whole thing, so then it's a bit more usable, and then have a bit of better bed in it, but um, for doing them, I really wanted it sort of nice and square in it, so Michelle put it back together with some of my help, because she could uh, remember how it went back together, and I can work shit out. So yeah, it, it done its job, as you can see, it's... Uh, yeah. Now we're going to um, uh, get these drilled out. Now, uh, I've cut the templates out, so I've just got to tape them on. Yeah, just tape them on and then I'll uh, dot poles around it. So as I said, I'm just going to uh, tape these down and then sort of get them dot punched. So, I do want these as close to the centre as, uh, literally, perfectly in the centre as I possibly can. Obviously I'm doing it by eye, there is going to be some, fuck him just moved it, there's going to be some discrepancies. I'll fucking stay still, you twat. Just, oh, fucking giving up now. Probably people screaming at you, why don't you get the tape on first and then you can hold it and just wrap it under? Yeah, thank you for that. Get it over, or get his unwrapped, get it over to the drill press. So, I haven't actually got a stand for my drill press, and putting it on the bench is way too high. So, it's currently on this little trolley at the minute, which is fine, it moves around. Um, but it hurts my back doing that, so I am going to be sitting on this grate. And this actually worked out the perfect way for me. So, um, I'm not going to mess around with my tripod to, to get that over here. Um, I am just going to, uh, I'm going to pilot drill them uh, and then I'll, I probably won't go straight up to the uh, 12, I'll probably sort of do another increment. Uh, purely and simply because I want to hand hold this so I can keep it flush and I can move it around rather than clamp it down. If I was clamping it down, like just doing one hole, then I'd go straight through but I think I'll take my time and then I'll uh, do it as a couple of stages and then yeah it's just drilling holes so, back in a second all right what a fucking palaver that was but they're finally done so moment of truth time see if we've got fucking holes in the right place so there's the bearing and oh looks good so far let's try to fucking bear it shall we all seem to line up. Yeah. It's a good 
stop. Yes. Can't argue with that. I'm well happy. Right, it's been a long day. I'm gonna uh, sweep up my 80 quid worth of metal dust and shavings. And I'm gonna go home and I'll see you tomorrow. So, now it's time to uh, try and work this out. So, you are over my shoulder, so I do apologise if I kick the tripod while I'm trying to do this. Um, Right, problem with this is, it probably doesn't come up on camera, but this isn't actually uh, square. Um, these two are slightly narrower than these two. So, um, yeah, I've got to try and work it out. So, I have had a quick measure, and from the centre to the centre of each hole is the same. So what we need to do is work out the, uh, the actual circle. Then what I'm thinking of doing is making two more of these and then I can screw it in, get them level and then I should be able to place that over the circle, give it a little tap and then I've got a template. That's my plan. Let's see if it works. Yeah, that's not bad, but that's straight in the centre. I was expecting the circle. <clears throat> right, um, really worse. Now, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So the plan is, because um, I'm using itself as the template, in theory I shouldn't have to get this absolute cock on. It's not like I was when I was doing these so yeah in theory I should just be able to get it close enough and then we can eyeball it So yeah, that's 52 and a half, I reckon. <laughs> so that's... Yeah, I'll that. <coughs> oh, right. So, just gonna use a bit of paper again. I'm not too worried about it. Being um, all drawn on. All we've got to do is get. Get a rough idea. Well, I need to make two more of them. Hold on, I'll, uh, I'll show, I will show you how I did them. Right, so this is the basic setup. Um, just started with normal bolt and just chop the heads off. Um, I've got it chucked up in my drill press and I'm just going to rough it out with a grinder with just a flat disc.
I say that's just roughed out, a real um, final sort of fairly. But I'll get the other one in and I'll get that done. And we'll come back with the uh, setup. Well, this is the setup. Um, as I said, you know, with the grinder, it is just sort of roughing it out. Um, this one actually isn't too bad, but you know, because you're holding it, you know, if you end up sort of catching a spot, you, you'll end up with like a little wobble, you know, so the point won't be in the center. Where this, you know, it's fixed. Um, I probably could have done the whole lot with these, but I don't have that many of these um, belts left. I need to order some more, so this is the setup. So that's all locked off. That's all locked off at the fixed angle. So just plug the airline in, hold that down, and then I'll just use the quill to just slowly feed it into the uh, the belt. So stop talking about it and just get it done. Helps if I plug the airline into the compressor. Be a good start, wouldn't it? Clean all the threads up, uh, put these in and I've set the height. Um, I've also uh, just put a mark on each one, just, just in case I move. Some of them are a little bit loose. Then I've laid it over. I don't know whether I can sort of get in closer so you can actually see. Oh, there you go. Is that one? Yeah. So I was just, just out, but then I spent a little while and I've lined it up, you know. Um, got, it, got it right. And then I've re and zoom back over twice. Uh, yeah, I've rejigged me uh, compass. So now we're going to try and make a template on some cardboard. So today's template is is a beef roast dinner. Um, yeah, so I'm just pretty much going to do exactly the same. I'll just draw draw around it, then lay that over the top, and then in theory we should then have a proper template that we can try out. Beautiful. There's a template. Probably did that a little bit too hard, but it doesn't matter. So, let's go back to our steel. Um, no scissors.
I'm going to get this cut out and drilled out and then um, yeah we'll try it and hopefully it works oh let me uh, show you quick so this is what I've gone out and bought for uh, drilling the centre hole um, I've used this maker before this is why I've got it they're not expensive these come from tool station but they're cobalt and yeah it's just a, it looks like just a normal hole saw but these are fucking amazing um, when I made, hold on. yeah, this is the one that I bought before. Um, this has gone through um, five or six bits of uh, scaffolding tubing, um, and then I cut out the five mil plate for the feet for the other bench. And you know, other than you know, maybe the tops of a couple of these teeth, that's still good, and that was still cutting perfectly. So to drill through the 8mm plate, I went out and I spent some money on that. Like I said, it wasn't expensive, it was about a tenner, maybe eight, nine quid, something like that, I don't know. But yeah, well worth it. So it should, in theory, save me a lot of time and effort. So yeah, I'm going to get that done, get them drilled out, and then hopefully that should just slip straight over there. And then we can work out exactly what we want to do with the, uh, the bracing. Sort of rambling on, trying to think about what I'm doing as well as talk to you and trying to figure out the process of how to do it. So yeah, I worked a lot of it out, but this bit is make up as I go along because I couldn't quite work out how I wanted to do that. But now I think I have. I think. You'll find out as I find out. Moment of truth, see if these work. tight in the centre but there's nothing that a die grinder will not fix. Don't know whether it's gonna frame up but yeah that will work. Alright now I'm gonna try and work out what sort of plate I need. I don't really know how to do that yet. I'll think about it and come back. So, we have a template. That was a lot of running backwards and forwards and messing around and everything else because it had to be quite right, just right. So the two bolt holes had to go in between the um, A-frames. So if you look here, I drew it all out. That's the uh, box section, marked out the centre line. Um, then obviously a centre line down here. Then just did the exact same thing as I did with this one. You know, just drew the circle, then placed. Uh! that thing over it and then just went bosh. So, only thing to do now is actually cut it out. Um, I did think about sort of doing a, a metal test piece, you know, using some of that, but then it's just like, it's not gonna make any odds to me really, um, because of the bolt holes go through the box section, you know, I need to use the plate as, as the uh, drilling guide, so, yeah, I'm just going to go straight for it and straight onto this metal plate. Um, annoyingly, uh, that there is a, a guillotined edge. Uh, but then we've got two holes in here and there's just not quite enough to get this in. Um, this edge has been all sort of cut all off fucking, all off centre. So I'm going to have to sort of chop the bottom off and then get these placed. So the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to have to paint the whole fucking lot in, in Dyking which is going to take forever I wish I had some spray Dyking because it would take like 30 seconds but I'm going to really get this painted up and then we'll get it marked out alright that's all marked out so I'm going to draw a nice line along the bottom 
really uh, subscribing. Marked up. Let's do some more cutting and some eight mil plate. Yay! At least these are straight though. That's a bonus. Still not looking forward to it. I'm not going to make you watch it. I'll just get it done. Um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get it all cut out and then I'm going to take it over to the um, belt sander and then get get the edges perfect. So yeah, you don't need to see that. It's going to take a couple of hours on. I thought. Yeah, maybe not. Well, my belt belt sander is shit. So. It'll take a while. I'll tell you what, we'll do this, hold on. Fuck off. They just love facial recognition. It's 1820, I don't know whether you can see that. Or 20 past 6. Oh, maybe we'll do that this way. Hang on, hang on, 20 past 6. So. Let's see how long this takes. So these are all done. They didn't take as long as I actually sort of thought they was. Um, I mean, partly the fact that I had a realisation halfway through and actually went, I'm going to be welding on two sides, so I don't need to make these perfect. So it still took a while anyway. You know, it's... Um, it's 10 to 8. So now we're going to mark these out and... Uh, through some holes. Uh, I'm not going to keep moving the camera because I want to try and get all the holes drilled today. Uh, so then, yeah, probably end up fucking tacking them tomorrow. But yeah, I really want to get all the holes drilled. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, mark it out now. I'm using my template. Um, let me take. You know, sometimes biting your nails is a pain in the fucking ass. Don't do it. Right, I'm going to get these holes drilled and then I'll be back. So that's all the uh, pilot holes all pre-drilled. Uh, now what I need to do is I actually need to mark off the A-frames. Um, the light is pretty shit at the minute, so I'm not going to take the camera around, uh, plus I'm in a hurry. All I'm going to do is just clamp them to the um, the A-frames, just clamp them up, and then just drill through with the same drill that I used. Yeah, nothing special, just so, you know, we, we've got where they 
to go in. So this is basically the setup. Um, I'll just clamp two pieces of angle to the actual frame and then uh, I'll just clamp the, the plate straight to it. Um, I've marked everything up, uh, one, two, both of the A-frames and then side A and B because uh, I need to drill through this side but then I also need to drill through the other side as well because obviously the bolt's got to go all the way through. So, yeah, I'm just going to get it drilled up and get it done. Right, so I've got both of these uh, drilled out. Uh, they both go on quite nicely. Got a little bit of clearance on there which I'm happy about. So now it's time to uh, get that centre one done. So I've checked the box, check the speed, full focus quick. I ain't gonna focus it. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's supposed to be run at um, 140 RPM. Unfortunately this only goes down to 250. So I've got it all set up clamped down it shouldn't move got it centered I've just touched just touched it off so I know the uh, drills perfectly centered um, plenty of cutting oil and we're just going to go for it and take it slowly probably stop every couple of minutes and it takes as long as it takes right so that's that one done and I'm fucking buzzing so we've just got a tiny little bit of swarf on the back end there and it won't go on that way it does so spending the time getting the measurements right I've got that absolutely fucking cock on so now I've got to do is that one yay that did take a while it was a nice clean cut but yeah it took a while um, the other thing I'm going to do as well <coughs> oh excuse me um, yeah because like, this took a while, I just had the music cranked up and just chilled out, just kept stopping and just allowed it to cool down. Not that it actually got too hot, it actually stayed pretty cool, you know, at the speed it was running. But um, I'm going to get the holes cut in the A-frame as well. Just get it all done, all in one go, while I've got the fucking music up. And then, we're almost going to be ready to start doing some welding, I think. Alright, so, I'm not going to lie, I sort of fucked up a little bit. So, I went through and I've... Uh, pre-drilled the A-frames and they're all now done I forgot to pre-drill these when I made these so now I've got to try and get these fucking placed and worked out so you know the pilot drill would have been handy but now I've got to try and centralise them and fuck about so it shouldn't be too hard L luckily this is flat I can get this on a pillar drill so I can drill it squarely but yeah I should have done it beforehand so there's going to be some eyeballing on this I'm just going to have to wing it I think uh, so it doesn't have to be perfectly in the centre but it'd be nice if we can get it close-ish plus with the two bolt holes it's going to be on the lip rather than sort of clamping down on, on an edge is it? So let's go 40 mil of that side. Yeah, that'll work. Right, so let's say it's all all eyeballing. I'm literally making this shit up as I go along. And then we've got this on. I'm just trying to ballpark it. Let's see how we go. Oh, 
shut his fucking blinds with a Dick. You're just going to eyeball it and then hope for the best because it can't really do much. There's no way I can get the centre of them lines, all I can do is centre this in relation to them lines. So, That's literally the level of fuck it about that I'm going to do. So now I'm just going to uh, mark it with the uh, drill. Yeah. So I'm not going to attempt to actually drill all the way through. All I want to do is mark it so then we can do the pilot drill and everything else on the uh, pillar drill. So just using the hole as a guide. It's almost up. Just like that. And I actually got it pretty much bang on the lines. Okay, guys. So I'm going to do the uh, exact same for the other one. Get it over into the pillar drill, drill everything out, and then then we can start welding. I know I said that earlier, but yeah. I really want to get these fucking welded up. We have holes drilled, finally. These are a pain in the arse. Um, setting the uh, pillar drill up to get it done, but because of the weight over here, just fucking all clamping it and everything else, but I've done it. And these line up absolutely fucking fuck on. Which is exactly what I wanted. So, the only thing left to do is clean everything up and then weld. Um, I do need to uh, set the welder up, you know, for this. Um, so, All of the bits that I've got off, you know, I can dial it in practice. Um, I was, I'd really like to have used my welder because I know that would have fucking welded this shit, no problem at all. But I'm using my brother's welder, which is only 185 amps. So, yeah, I, I've got enough little bits here to practice and fuck about with. You don't need to see that. Just, yeah. I'll come back when it's all cleaned up and then we're going to start welding. So, I have touched, played, tickled and fondled. And I think I've just about got this thing dialed in. So the only thing to do now is actually crack on with it. I'm not looking forward to this. Um, heavy welding is not normally my strong suit. Plus, this has to be right because there's no going back once it's you know there's no cutting it off. It's just got to be done. So let's get it done.
sorry, the fan on the uh, rented welder wasn't working and if I'm running it flat out, <laughs> I want to make sure it works. So, clampage, clampage, on edge. We'll put a couple of tacks in and then just go for it, I think. I suspect this is the most this world has ever done before, but I'm going for it. Time to shit itself. She ran up here that. It's not a bad one. Give this one a bit. We are gonna go again. That's not moving. Ever. Do you know what? You can't argue with that. That's eight mil plate or a three mil plate. You can't argue with the, uh, the tiny little single move 185. I've got to allow it. I've got to allow it. That is pretty damn good. I mean, to be fair, she is flat out. She's on max, and the fan was stopping as I was running. But she did it. I will let her cool down. It's a decent bead in there. Yeah, happy days. So, that was the last weld. Could have done with a bit more penetration on these, but it's fucking solid and it's done. So, I'm now going to move that camera, which is actually recording the audio in a minute, um, into the booth. We're going to actually get all of these bits bolted together and then finish the video. So I can go home. I'm sorry it's getting late, but I completely forgot uh, to mention and show you about these holes at the back. So I was going to do the big holes, and that is literally just to get the uh, socket through. So that's the plate on there. Obviously, you can see we're all the shit out of it. Uh, the holes go all the way through, and yeah. It, the big hole at the back is literally just to get the socket through so the uh, bearing mounts straight to it this one's still a bit hot this is literally the one I just wanted 
있습니다. 자, l i t e r a l l just gonna get it all bolted up right now. So another light and shit, and I do apologise, but you might as well actually see me put the fucking thing together. So we got shit out of new bolts, some washers, and it is just a matter of putting it together. I don't like this is the one that's actually still quite on. It's got even darker, I do apologise, but the battery's now charged, I'm going to fucking put this on. It ain't happening tonight, but I need to chop my fucking bolts down, as you can see. But it's attached. Well, again, sorry about the lighting. It's it's dark. It's late. Um, I'm going to call it done on this video. Um, it's attached. The bearings are done. Um, I need to chop the bolts down and move. But, so yeah, there's going to be a part three, and then we need to work out the brake and how we're going to stop it continually rolling so yeah we're done on this video hope you enjoyed it um, I can imagine you pissed off some of the shit that I did probably screaming at don't do that but here's what it is what I've done. so yeah uh, please check out my friends in the description box below uh, please um, please check out my teespring store uh, it's a merchandise store we've got t-shirts cups mugs all, all that sort of shit um, I was actually looking for a mug but I think it's in the kitchen. Um, 
please check out my Patreon, uh, support me where you can, and yeah, that's about it. I'll, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.